Even though we are well into the 21st century, learning for kids these days, pretty similar to what it was when we were kids. We're talking about the math, the science, the reading, the history, but what has changed is how kids are learning. The classroom today is an ever-evolving environment where the quality of the technology can often be as important as the quality of the teacher. So how will classrooms look in the future? With me now is Tarkin Manor, CEO of Wise Technology with his vision. Morning to you, Tarkin. Good morning. You know, it's no secret every class pretty much has a computer or some form of technology in the classroom, but what's wrong with what most schools have now? So there are many problems with the computing infrastructures in schools. Number one, as you uh, shared, students are sharing these computers with they're expensive. PCs are expensive. And beyond that, there are issues around security, mm -hmm. privacy, mm -hmm. manageability, availability, total cost of ownership of these devices, and most importantly, which I care about, simplicity. So students want to focus on learning and teachers want to focus on teaching and computers are difficult. Now you have a vision though for the classroom uh, of tomorrow. Tell me what it is. So we want to simplify the computing. So we believe PCs are too difficult to deal with both from a business perspective and simplicity perspective. So we have these devices just want to show you in my palm very small. This device basically replaces your big desktop computer. A typical desktop computer is heavy 300 watts of electricity. Mm -hmm. These devices bring that wattage to below 10 watts. So they're simple, they're inexpensive, they're low cost. All right, so how does something like this work? So basically, this device, this simple device, connects to a PC that the teacher owns and connects all the students with these devices to that one PC in a classroom environment or at a school environment to a main server or in a school district environment to a data center. Everything is in the cloud. All the content applications are in the PCs and the servers in the back end. Every student has a device like this with no on and off button. Just they see is their content and application. So basically, this is the computer for this 25 computer. students in the classroom. And really, the teacher is the only one who has to have the main computer. It. And then this all plugs into the teacher's PC? You just got it. Absolutely amazing technology. How much does something like this cost? These start in retail $100. So when you think about $100, uh, obviously when you compare with the PC, PCs go to $500 to $1,000, in some cases even more than that. Mm -hmm. When you add these things up in a school district with 1,000 students, add up a lot. These devices at $100 in big volume discount settings, it goes to down 50 bucks. But beyond that, beyond that, a typical PC, 300 watts. It's an electricity hog, a power hog. These devices under 10 watts. So basically, the Ethernet cable powers these devices. So electricity savings are huge. Also, in addition to that, manageability, security, and privacy savings. And also, you don't have to have IT staff to manage these devices in a school setting. Mm -hmm. So teachers can focus on teaching, and students can, can focus on learning. Now, is something like this complicated? Is it something that teachers can learn very quickly, very easily? There is nothing to learn. Everything connects back to the Microsoft PCs that you have uh, uh, today. Nothing new. Everything that you need to do is to connect these devices to that PC or to the server in the back end if you're in a school district environment. Now, how important is it for classrooms to keep up with technology? Because obviously, your passion for this, I mean, we, we, we can feel it. Why is this important to you? Why is it important to the classroom of the 21st century? So important. As you know, our life is going all digital. In every single asset of our, our lives, we are dealing with computers in some shape or Form, in an airport, in our business, on the go, in shopping. So we want to make sure our students, our children learn in computing from the school on. Mm -hmm. uh, and we prepare them for life and for business as they grow up. And these devices make that process simple, inexpensive, and it takes care of all the manageability and security issues that the school administrators and teachers deal with. We want to make sure it's cost effective. You know, our uh, economic crisis are impacting a lot of state budgets and school budgets and city and local government budgets. This saves that problem. How has this caught on in schools? In a big way. Both in the U.S., in many school districts, they are going to these type of devices. Very low end, very uh, uh, inexpensive, secure and manageable. And beyond U.S., in many governments, in, in Africa, in, in, in Asia, in Europe, in Latin America, countries in tens of thousands are going with these devices for the entire K-12 and higher education environments. This is not only for K-12, also in colleges and universities, in higher education, we are seeing these devices now. You know, here's the other interesting thing. There are classrooms in this country that don't even have one computer because they can't afford it, yeah. or they may have one computer for 25 kids. Right. So with something like this, obviously, Everybody is able to have a computer without the cost. It solves many problems in addition to a, a technology. That's the business reason. These are a phenomenal devices because they are simplifying and bringing the, the cost down.
bringing the cost down. That's the most important thing to a lot of schools these days. And also Correct. keeping up with the 21st Correct. century technology as Correct. well. So, Tarkin, thank you so much for sharing it with us on the show today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And to find out more about the amazing technologies offered by WISE and how you can help your children become more tech savvy, simply visit the website, wise.com.